welcome to our video on discrete math in terms of the praxis 0061. And th these are just questions that are always relate to in some way combinations or, and permutations. So let's, let's just do this, this first sample one together and then we'll do a little bit of a background on, on some combinatoric stuff. So how many different license plates can be made consisting of two digits followed by four letters? So it's usually a, a good a good strategy to start conceptualizing these options as positions on a license plate. And let me just switch colors there. Um, we have two digits followed by four letters. One, two, three, four. So these red slots right here, we can fill them with any letters we want. And these pink slots right here, we can fill them with numbers. And, and really all we need to think about is, well, how many digits could we put into these spots? And the answer is 10, right? 10 in this spot, and then 10 in this spot here. Because, right, we could have 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9. We couldn't put 10 or anything above because, well, we can only fit one digit in each spot on a license plate. So then here we have the letters, and this is actually my, my biggest issue is here, I always forget how many letters are in the alphabet, but there are, there are 26. So every spot on the license plate, right, we could pick any letter in the alphabet and then place it in this spot. Now, because, because we're dealing here with, this is a, a permutation problem, permutation, right, because um, these, these things could happen really in, in any order. Right, and here what we're doing in, in the first two spots, we're we're choosing we're choosing ten digits, and then here we have another ten digits because we can repeat digits, right? It would be nine digits here if if we couldn't repeat di digits, but we can. And here, right, we have twenty six letters each time. Any letter we can throw into these into these spots. So really, all we're doing here is multiplying all the options, right, to get all the to, to get all the different license plates. And I would say the answer here is C, right? 10 squared, because here we have the two tens, 10 squared, and here we have 26 to the fourth power. We're multiplying those, and that will give us the total number of, of combinations that we can, we can have on these license plates. Now, two times four, uh, that's, I mean, that's just multiplying the number of spots we have, and that's not gonna help us. 36 to the sixth power, that would be the case if, if in each slot we could have letters or numbers, right? Because then if we combine both sets here, we have all, you know, all the, the numbers and then all the letters all together, that would be 36 options. And if, if we could put any number or letter in any spot, right, um, and put either, there weren't a restraint where it had to be a number or a letter, there would be 36 options for six spots, so you'd multiply 36, right, over and over again for the six spots. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. But that's, that's not our, what we have here. Now, now B, what B refers to, this is, and I want to write it like this, as you would see it, 10C2. This is saying, okay, you have 10 things to choose from and two spots to place them in. Well. Well, we do have 10 things to choose from, and we do have, we do have two spots to put them in, but, we, but the order doesn't matter, right? So in, when you see a, a C right here for, the, for combinations, order does not matter. So for example, um, if we chose a 2 and then a 3 on our license plates, and that was not different from 3 and then 2, then we could use this strategy right here, but 2 and then three is different than three and two on a license plate. So we're gonna avoid this type of combination. So C is the answer. Now let's look at some others. So a civic club has, has 200 members and a committee of five members is to be selected. So in this case, order does not matter, right? If I choose five people, it doesn't matter the order I choose them in because they're all part of the committee. So really here, just, I'm not, we don't have to even solve it, but, but it's 200 people and you're choosing five of them. And so the answer is A. Now B would be the answer if, let's say we had, I don't know, Pam and, and Sean and Kayleen, five people. 
and Ted and Sue. Perhaps if if the order mattered, like if I elected Sean first and then Kayleen, right? So first and then second, and then Pam for third and Ted fourth and Sue fifth. Now in this scenario it doesn't matter, right? Because they're all on the committee together. But if you if this had changed to say that whoever was elected first leads the committee and then you have following the second person, the second in charge and so forth, then this would be our answer, right? The order wouldn't matter. But that's not the case here. So the answer is A. Okay, we'll continue this.